Hello, hello, welcome. Hey, today's game is about both shapes and fractions. And the object of the game is to see if you can take the shapes that are provided for you in the box and see if you're able to cut them into equal parts in halves, thirds, and fourths. Okay, just a reminder, a numerator tells me how many pieces of that type I have. Our denominator tells us how many pieces we should have total. So we're going to make two parts here, three parts here, and four parts here. Halves, thirds, and fourths. I made you and your box some nicer labels so you don't have to write them. Um, but for my example, I'm going to do this. So first we have this shape. I'm gonna lay it down on this pink background so we can see it better. Okay, this is a rectangle. And I'm gonna see if I can cut this rectangle into halves. So that's two equal parts. So you're pretending maybe this is a candy bar and you're sharing it with a friend. You could even fold it first because we know we're gonna need two equal parts. And if you fold it once, it creates a line down the center. Okay, and then you have two equal parts. If we laid these on top of each other, the other one would disappear because they are equal, they are the same size. If you're splitting a candy bar with another person, there's two of you, you want them to look similar because we like fairness and that's fair. Okay, now we're gonna move this shape over to thirds. So I have a brand new shape in your box. There's many, many shapes. You would need three of each shape so you can cut each. And now I'm gonna see, can I cut this into thirds? Maybe I use a marker first. Maybe I just go right in and try it. So now I'm sharing a candy bar amongst myself and two other people. That's three people. So I've cut it into three pieces and I'm looking, okay, does this look like thirds? Does this look like it would be fair to share? Okay, I think we can agree that it does. So this shape is able to be cut into thirds. So, so far our rectangle can be cut into thirds. They can be cut into halves. And now we're gonna move on to see if it can be cut into fourths. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Okay, here's my last rectangle for my round of this game. And I'm gonna see, can I cut this into fourths? So I did my half again, because I thought that would maybe make things easier for me personally. So I'm gonna start by cutting it in half. And this is how I would maybe share with four friends too. And I'd say, okay, you guys can share that half. And if we divide this half in half, we have a fourth. Okay, so even if I put my half I still have together below my two fourths, we can see that those are equivalent, those are equal. So the likeliness that this rectangle is going to be able to be split into fourths seems pretty likely. And then let's check it out. Would my four friends be happy? Yeah, probably. Okay, so a rectangle is able to be split into or shared equally in half, in thirds, and in fourths. So that was a lucky, nice shape to start with. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try this shape. This shape is called a trapezoid. It looks almost like a pyramid or a triangle uh, with the top cut off. So I'm gonna see if I had this shape, could I share it in two pieces, two equal parts? I'm gonna see if it has that line of symmetry that the rectangle had, which that means can I fold it in half and both the sides look the same? Okay, just by folding it, okay, I can see that the other half completely disappears. So that's seeming promising at this point. So I'm gonna cut it in half and here we go. It looks like a trapezoid can be shared equally in halves. So let's move on to thirds. Okay, 
Okay, got my next trapezoid. And I know if I fold it in half, I can get two equal pieces, but thirds is gonna be a little different because this shape isn't as symmetrical as my rectangle. So let's see. This was my attempt at cutting this trapezoid into three pieces. So if you're doing this with a friend right now, you might say, well, technically you sure did. You cut it into three pieces. But we need to remember that when we're doing fractions, it's all about that equality. So these pieces are not equal. If this was some really odd shaped candy bar and you had two friends ask you to share it with them and you're like, sure, here you go, here you go. And you get this piece, they're gonna be like, all right, I see what kind of friend you are. So this one technically does not work. Even though I did physically cut it into three pieces, it's not thirds because they're not equal. I would need to have three squares, just like I did with the rectangle, or three of these type shapes for it to be truly able to be cut into thirds. So let's try fourths. Think about if you think this is gonna work, why or why not, based on what we've cut so far. So here's my trapezoid. And I'm gonna try again. So I had this triangle type shape. I had this square in the center and then another similar triangle type shape. So once again, I was able to cut this into four pieces. But if we look at it, are they true fourths? Okay, the answer is no, because they're not equal. Okay, fractions must be equal in size. So a trapezoid is only able to be cut into halves. Okay, hopefully this helped.